boys and girls of all ages. Welcome back to the Illinois Symphony Orchestra's Itzy Arts program, Emotion Commotion. Put your hands together as we welcome your hosts, Logan Campbell and Katie Bieberman. We're so excited to see you today. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Itzy Arts Emotion Commotion. My name is Logan. And I'm Katie. We are your hosts. Today we will talk about music, art, and emotions. There will be games, arts activities, plus lots of learning. So if you're ready to get started, give us a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Here we go. with the Illinois Symphony Orchestra and I'm so excited to be here today to tell you a little bit more about the harp and play some calm pieces for you. Um, I first started the harp when I was three years old and I, I began playing it since my parents were both musicians. I got to go see a lot of different concerts um, and got to see a lot of different instruments when I was really young and I was instantly drawn to the harp because of how big and, and powerful it was. Um, and the beautiful thing about the harp is that it has such a large range of possibilities. It can be really loud and powerful when we play something like this. And it can be really delicate and quiet when we play something like this. Wow, I am already feeling so relaxed. Maybe Ellie can tell us more about the harp and about the music we can listen to to help ourselves calm down. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my favorite instrument, the harp. The harp is one of the oldest known instruments and it, it's said that it originated from the bow and arrow. Um, so one day a hunter was out hunting with his bow and arrow and he plucked the string on the bow. It made a beautiful sound and over time, more and more strings were added to that bow, and then eventually um, the soundboard, or the resonating chamber right here, was expanded, and eventually it became the instrument we know today. Um, the harp is made out of a few different materials. Um, the first one is wood, which is right here on the soundboard. It's on the column right here, going all the way up. And then the neck as well, this curved piece is wood. Um, there's also metal right here as we go again on the neck. This plate is a brass plate and um, the mechanism, these little spokes on the harp are also made of metal and those pieces can actually move. So when I move pedals with my feet, those pieces up there move. Maybe you can see those moving around <laughs> and it changes the pitch of the strings that I play. Um, there are 47 strings on the harp, so lots of strings, and they're made out, the strings themselves are made out of three different materials. The first one for these really high strings up here are, is nylon. The second material for these strings in the middle is natural gut, and then the third material for the strings down at the very bottom of the harp is wire. Um, we normally play the harp by plucking the strings, so something like this. But my favorite technique for the harp is called the glissando, and it sounds like this. Glissando means 
to glide. So we're gliding our fingers all over the strings. <laughs> and that produces that beautiful glissando. The harp is so interesting. It's amazing that something so complex can still sound so soothing. That's exactly right. It's kind of like how our busy, complex days go by so fast, but through music, we can find that serenity and calmness. Let's see if Ellie has more ideas about how to make ourselves feel calm with the music that she'd like to share with us. This song is called Moon River by Henry Mancini. It was originally performed by Audrey Hepburn in the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, and it's just a beautiful love song that I love to play. Please enjoy Moon River. Did you notice how when she plays the shorter strings that are really, really high-pitched and close to her face, the notes are really, really high. But as she plays notes that are lower, it's on the longer strings that are farther away from her. As we listen to the next song, let's see if we can figure out whether the notes are high or low based on the length of the string and where it is on the instrument. This piece is Sketches in Sepia by Florence Price. Florence Price was the first female African-American composer to have her work performed by a major symphonic ensemble, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. This piece was originally written for the piano, but it works beautifully on the harp, and I hope you'll enjoy Sketches in Sepia. Thank you. 
this ball at high and low pitches. It was a challenge to listen to those different sounds. Maybe this time we can listen to loud and soft dynamics. I like that idea. Will you join us? Yay! Wonderful. Let's see what next piece Ellie has for us and listen for the dynamics. This piece is called The Nightingale by Deborah Henson Conant, and it is about the bird song of the nightingale. So as I'm playing, listen and see if you can hear some of those chirps in the piece. like that too, with the different techniques, colors, and styles. Let's head over to the Illinois Art Station and let's look at how visual art can also make us feel calm. Okay. Well, hi Joey. Hi, Logan. It's great to see you again here at the Illinois Art Station. Um, today we're talking about calmness and we're talking about being calm and I feel I'm, I'm very energetic right now. I'm a little stressed and so I'm really excited about today's artwork. Um, and how it will help me calm myself. So okay. what are we doing today? So today we're going to be doing a little bit of finger painting. Ooh, okay. um, So sometimes, like when we're, we're just too excited or uh, something's going on, we just need to calm down. Yes. Yes. Um, sometimes the things that we touch help us to feel calm down. So I have decided that maybe we should finger paint today. Mm -hmm. And we're going to finger paint into circular patterns. Okay. They're called mandalas. And when we do that, they're very calming as we go through them because it's the same action over and over and over. And we can always count on it to just repeat. So I made for you, I've got some paint and some shaving cream. I mix them together. And that has a different texture. It's all fluffy mm -hmm. than just the paint. Okay. And you could do either. You could use something different, um, but those are the things that I brought for us to do today. Wonderful. So I'm going to start, just my hand, I'm going to grab purple with the tip of my finger. You can grab whatever okay. color you Blue. want. Blue. Oh, this feels so cool. Doesn't it feel nice? Yeah. And so I'm going to just put a dot in the middle. I'm going to give a different color, a different finger. Okay. 
and I'm going to go around it. And the way that I like to do this is by turning my paper and not my hand. So you said this is called a mandala. That yes. doesn't. That's a fun word. Um, where where does the mandala art form come from? Well, we see it in a few different cultures, but we mostly associate it with like Tibet okay. and Tibetan monks, and so they um, they have their own processes where they make them out of sand, and they have very wonderful designs that just repeat, and they're beautiful. Um, Ours will be beautiful too. They will just be done with our fingers instead. So I, I, what I am enjoying and looking both at mine and at yours mm -hmm. is the texture. Yes. The way that the paint looks as some of mine, because it's with the shaving cream, it kind of comes off of it. Mm -hmm. But yours does too. It just um, That was something I was going to point out to you, but um, I, I haven't gotten there yet. So I'm, I'm glad that you thought about it. So mine will be pretty flat when it's all dry. Yours is going to stay the way that it looks now. Oh, okay. So you could touch it later. And feel it. And feel it. And it will feel different than when you did it today mm -hmm. because right now it's all wet. And then later on it will be dry and so you can touch it and that is another fun texture to touch. Very and It's cool. very calming. What are other ways that you can use artwork to calm yourself or to feel calm? Well, sometimes it's really nice to look at things that we're very, very familiar with because we can count on it to always look the way that we remember it. And so if we look at some of our favorite artworks or maybe a beautiful quilt someone made, you can look over the patterns and look over all those things, the beautiful lines that you remember and just Bringing yourself to remember all those little bits and pieces as you go around the artwork can be very So aside from art, what are some of the other things that you like to do in order to, to calm yourself? Um, let's see. I like to go for a walk in the woods. That's fun because the nature is always itself. And I can just experience that and enjoy it as I go really fun for me. What about you? Well, we actually explored listening to instruments. Um, we've been listening to different types of instruments, yeah. but today in particular we listened to the harp. Oh, that is a beautiful instrument, and I can see why you would listen to it when you were thinking about being calm. It's so serene and yeah. so calming. And so I do enjoy listening to pieces that feature certain instruments like that that can help calm yeah. me. There's mine. Look at that. We used the same colors. Yeah. And we did the same things, but look how different they are. They're very different. That's very neat. But they're both very beautiful. Yes. And even looking at them, it kind of can calm you down. It does. Just looking at the repetition and the patterns that are in the artwork. Well, thank you so much for this. I feel so much more calm. I'm so glad. And so hopefully whenever you're making this artwork at home, you will also feel very calm and serene at the end of it. So thank you so much for this, and we'll look forward to being back next time. Hey, thanks for coming. <sighs> wow, that was such beautiful art. Speaking of beautiful art, I think Ellie has another piece to play for us before the end of this program. This piece is called Uplift Your Voice by harpist and composer Brandy Younger. It was inspired by the song Lift Every Voice and Sing. So as I'm playing this, see if you can hear any similarities between the two pieces.
so relaxed and calm now, and I hope that you do too. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Itzy Arts in Motion Commotion, where we've talked about the emotion of being calm, and we met Ellie. We learned about the harp, how it's used in music, and the different techniques used to play the harp. During the next program, we will talk about the emotion of anger. Now, I know we're often told not to express this emotion, but it's very important that we learn how to in safe ways. The instrument we will learn about is the trombone. I can't wait. See, See you, you next time. time.